Hi, my name is Sabra and welcome to Daily Videos brought to you by Main Street. And our goal is to help you, to help me, well, no, that sounds weird, to help me help you, well, it's vice versa, to live our faith daily. And so, you know, there's the Psalms, I'm walking through the Psalms and Psalm 23, 22, 31, excuse me, says, they will proclaim his righteousness, declaring to a people yet unborn, he has done it, exclamation point. And so, you know, when I look at the scripture, I'm thinking, David's talking about us. We are going to proclaim his righteousness, you know, and we don't do it because we're self-righteous. We do it because he's given us his rightness in us. And so now we get the privilege of sharing his righteousness to the world that we live in. There is a right way and it's narrow compared to the way that the world has walked in, it seems, especially nowadays. But you know what? Truth leads us to this place of freedom. But often truth is interpreted as being narrow minded or, you know, just it, it's too difficult. It's too restraining for my creativity or whatever. I, I'm sorry. I, I found more creativity in finding truth than I ever have in my life. Because truth is what sets us free. It leads us to a place where we're not bound by sin. We're not bound, you know, tied to ways that are unfulfilling. Truth I have found to be very fulfilling, especially truth in the word, especially things like, you know, God has come so that you and I could have life and have it to the fullest. That's a truth. And so when I try to find life, meaning of life, purpose of life outside of God and his word and his ways. No wonder, you know, it. I, we come up thinking, what? There's no fulfillment there. You know, I mean, it could be very temporary, you know, fulfillment. And I think you know what I'm talking about. When we try to find meaning and purpose and searching for it, searching for the right way out here in the world, outside of seeking God's righteousness first, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, you know, and so that's, those things speak so clearly to the world that we live in because we're not we're not haughty about seeking God. We're humble about seeking God and his righteousness and we proclaim it. And then we could say things like, look what he's done. Look what God has done. Don't you love hearing stories about look what the Lord has done, you know, and one story after another, after another, after another. I'd love to hear your story. But, you know, just allowing God to participate in your daily life, finding his righteousness, his right ways in the midst of your busy schedule, your busy life, you know, having God just be the one that you seek above all. That's going to speak volumes to your neighbors. Volumes. You have a blessed day seeking his righteousness.